Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to rebuild my mechanism a little bit as I received more of these plates. I'm planning to add them right here so I will need to rebuild all of this stuff. In the meantime I will show you the details on how the striking mechanism is constructed and how it works. So let's So now I have the mechanism mostly apart. Uh, I will try to show you how the striking mechanism work in detail. So here we have the main locking wheel and the lever that locks this wheel. And we have the second lever here that locks the mechanism after warning so when the first lever this one unlocks this wheel allows it to uh, turn a little bit like this and this lever is up and locks the mechanism so the levers are controlled by the minute arbor. Right now I'm turning it. So right there you can see how it moves the levers up. So this is uh, the situation around uh, five minutes to the full hour so this lever sits freely on this wheel which is still locked by the second lever so it cannot move uh, when the full hour approaches the second lever falls down and the mechanism is free to run. So it runs as long as the first lever falls into this gap and lock it, locks it once again. Okay, so now I'm done with the rebuild of the mechanism. It seems a bit complicated, but in, it isn't. Uh, right now it's very easy to disassemble it. It is divided into three modules. The first one is the clock movement. The second one is the uh, lunar phase indicator. And the third one is the striking mechanism. Uh, they are simply connected with a uh, few pins, so it's very easy to uh, disassemble it. And on the other side, it looks like this. I had to change the uh, shape of the camera a little bit. Uh, so let's put it in, into the clock and see how it works. So everything is back together again. I had to change this gear train a little bit. I had to reduce the gear ratio as it didn't have sufficient power to move the hammer up. The hammer is a bit longer right now, so it should produce a louder sound. So basically we are ready for the test drive. Uh, I removed the pendulum from the clock, so it will run at a uh, faster rate. So yeah, maybe let's begin. I will put the escape in motion. 
Oh, one second. So here we can see the locking levers moving up. In a few seconds we will have a warning when the first lever unlocks. Yeah, we had a warning. And we wait for the second lever to release the mechanism. Just a few seconds. Voila! So on the other side I will show you how the hammer works. I will just trigger it manually. So thank you in the